someone was asking me about uh, the Desert Bus for Hope overlay, which is kind of my role for uh, Desert Bus related things. Um, and I thought I would just sort of take you on a quick tour through how it sort of works and pretend that uh, I actually know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, we'll jump right in. It sort of starts with Photoshop. I'm just going to go extremely slowly because uh, I'm recording my screen here. But yeah, we start with Photoshop, which is where the uh, the graphics themselves are built. Um, all of the, the bars and so forth are uh, constructed in Photoshop, just out of shape layers with gradients and uh, little icon elements. Like the the logo mark for Desert Bus is a, a separate logo. The little hourglass is a separate element. Um, and the uh, the local time, anything that's like permanently on the screen or is like a graphical element is built in here. I probably should turn uh, Skype off. <laughs> well, like I said, not completely certain what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, all these elements are just broken apart uh, and saved in into separate pieces. So the top bar with the local time, the bottom bar where the score is uh, is depicted, and the sub bar, which is where I type all of uh, the madness that uh, happens to me as Desert Press rolls merrily forward. So those are all then put into Quartz Composer, which is a node or patch-based uh, visual programming language. And so you have this huge set of little uh, digital machines all working together to, to create the overlay. And this looks unbelievably complicated, and I guess in a sense it is because of how many things it has to do, but um, I kind of prefer to program this way because I, I, I like having things sort of at my fingertips and so that I can see them. And I, this program essentially lets you literally lay down objects and then plug them together with these little pieces of orange spaghetti. And so it, to me, um, it makes a lot of sense to have it sort of visualized like that. So we have a whole lot of different sections here and they're sort of broken up. The gray areas are just notes that I've written underneath so I can sort of further differentiate each of the, the elements. So you've got, for example, um, this blue billboard patch here renders out um, the uh, one of the elements, in this case the top bar, and so I'll import the uh, the image from a file and then it will display and really what I'm building here is like a a customized filter for the uh, for the video feed and so like all these elements will appear on top of it because Quartz Composer is very good for building uh, visualizers and filters so it's like if you wanted to do something that would add like a flame effect to your video feed or something it would do that because it has all of these tools to make calculations and graphical sort of this and that. Um, so here's the feature bar section with just the bottom bar. Uh, all of these elements control that. So what you have here is an input for the text which truncates it so that you can't type past the end. So anything you type in here will be chopped off by this. It'll be then passed to this which sort of pre-renders it and selects the font uh, and the size and such, and then it's passed to these two um, billboard sort of render uh, patches, which will create, uh, which will actually render it into the the uh, image, and then one of them renders the uh, the shadow. Because I'm sure there's a way to do this properly, but I... and so this thing underneath um, is how that feature and section. Uh, slides in and out. So you've got the bottom bar there and both these pieces of text, the text, the shadow, and the bottom bar need to slide in and out uh, whenever I want them to. So what you have is a, like a an input trigger here and then these, uh, it has two values that um, for the, the alignment that it'll toggle through 
and then there's a smoothing patch which will make the transition not instantaneous it'll actually just sort of interpolate between it and then these two patches just sort of adjust it uh, based on like because this whole thing will move the bottom bar and then these are not quite aligned at the same sort of level so these two uh, math patches will adjust it slightly so here's the bottom bar a lot of this stuff I don't even know how or why it works it's just kind of dark magic at this point every year when I like open this file up um, I actually just have to learn again how any of it works I'm really hoping it hasn't crashed now oh here okay here, here we go I'll go through a little bit more of this and hopefully it won't uh, explode so this is the um, uh, this is the point section just the same kind of deal you've got the the slide elements and then just places where you can input how many points and how many crashes uh, this complicated section here is the donation section what it'll do is this purple patch uh, has a URL where the, do the running donations total is kept and this LFO which is a low frequency oscillator will just uh, ping the server once every couple seconds and then it'll send that to these several patches that will interpret it and then cut it down to just the the number and then it'll format that adding the dollar sign and commas for anything over a thousand um, and then again on to uh, something to select the, the font and size and then rendered and then the donations total is also sampled and fed into this mathematical uh, equation which I don't know how this works I really don't I got it from someone else and just put it in and it does what I want it to um, and I don't ask questions uh, this actually takes the total and calculates the number of hours and the duration so it, the quartz composer document will actually display how many hours are left so it does all of that, all of those calculations internally, uh, rather than reading from more than one um, total. Maybe that would be a simpler way of doing it, but you know, <laughs> not necessarily very clever about these things. So uh, that value is fed into here, which displays the time, like the the goal time, and then the elapsed time, and the elapsed time is sampled from the uh, um, the system time on the computer that's rendering this so from this patch it'll actually pick what the system time is and then there's an hour adjust uh, section in case the everything crashes or if we need to just change it in the middle if there's a mistake because it'll it'll just use the the actual like current time to to count up and like every time it rolls over one hour it'll add um, using this counter here to the uh, to the total number of hours elapsed so it's just a kind of simple way of doing that uh, this is the corner timer I don't actually know how this works <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest I don't remember it's the same kind of thing there's some inputs it triggers a timer it, I don't ask questions <laughs> and see here's a simple one this is just the system time which is displayed in the corner there's uh, the same patch again as below that samples the system time uh, it formats it into an actual date because this will just spit out you know a huge amount of raw information like date time uh, month day all that junk and this will format it down to just the hours and minutes then add a font and a size and then render it out into the text and its shadow and then there's this thing <laughs> which is the Chivo section which is similar to the the donations total it'll it's pinging an RSS feed um, breaking it apart taking the the text and then applying an effect to it so it'll appear on the screen and just sort of display for a little bit and other than that there's a couple of miscellaneous little patches on the periphery here for displaying images and there's one for the actual image input so like the actual camera feed is 
put in here. Um, and uh, there's like a clear patch that just like uh, is is just has to be there for anything to render, and one more for displaying just images that you can just drop in. So all of the the controls in here that are relevant are published out, and so when the file's saved, um, it's put into Cam Twist, and then you have it. I don't have a camera hooked up at the moment, but um, that's what the yellow is for. It's just a placeholder. So it's all fed in, and then it all appears, and you get all of your controls that you've uh, you've previously published. So you can say, this is how it works. And it'll appear there. Um, this is where you can drop images, um, the controls for sliding the score in and out, sliding the feature in and out. So they're just toggles. And there's the hour adjust. So right now it's reading an hour and 20 minutes elapsed. We can adjust that to like uh, plus 20 or like minus 12 if the case proves necessary. And then you can add your points and uh, crashes down here. And so that's basically how it works. We may be adding a few more features before the end, but um, hopefully that was interesting for you to have a look at, and uh, I'll see you at Desert Bus.